welcome to my Makeup Revolution lipstick collection. I actually own 27 Makeup Revolution lipsticks, so it's about time that I film this video. Also in this video there is going to be a giveaway so make sure you stay tuned to hear about that one because I promise you it is really worth it and I would literally love to enter this giveaway if it wasn't me hosting it. The lightest shade that I own is actually this nude which is my most worn lipstick and this is the shade The One and it's just a really gorgeous nude lipstick. That's literally all that's left, that's how much I use it. I need to get another one of these and this one was only a pound. It's a really nice creamy warmish nude tone. So this is what it looks like on, as you can see it's really nice and creamy, it's really well pigmented and it just gives a really nice long lasting colour. It's just so gorgeous, I absolutely love it, I think it's just such a beautiful shade. The next lipstick shade I have is You Are Beautiful which is one of the iconic pro lipsticks. I absolutely love the little bullet design of these, I think it's quite similar to MAC but I really like that it's got the copper kind of... I don't really know whether it's copper or rose gold, I think it's more rose gold. And then at the bottom, I quite like that it says the name, but it's also got the little bits so you can see what the colour's like. But this is You Are Beautiful, which is a really nice pinky nude, it's quite a cool colour, I really really like this one. It's a really nice, cool, light nude, and I quite like the fact that it's really pale, because I think it's kind of like the concealer lips that we all used to rock at the age of 15, and pretended that we hated, but actually we all really thought it was quite cool. If you don't want to wear too much, it's perfect for those kind of days. The next shade is Game of Mystery, which actually comes in a matte too, which I'll show you in a minute. Again, in the same bullet design, it is an Iconic Pro. These actually cost £2.49. This one's quite like a pinky nude. It's a bit darker than the You Are Beautiful shade, but it's also really gorgeous, and I quite like this one. You can see this is what it looks like on. I'd say this is probably my most barely there shade. Um, I really really like it, I think it's such a subtle look, it's really nice and cool, it suits my skin tone and it's just beautiful, like I don't think you can go wrong with this colour. Then we have the Game of Mystery matte shade, which is the exact same colour, it's just a matte shade, so it's a lot more barely there, it's a lot more, um, looks like your lips, it's not too glossy. I don't know how well you can see, but this is basically the colour of my lips, like there's no real colour there at all, it just looks really natural, really soft, really beautiful. Next we have Absolutely Flawless, another Iconic Pro, and this one is beautiful. It's a bit of a darker nude, it's a lot more brown, it's really really gorgeous. Again, I keep saying everything's gorgeous, but it's a really lovely shade. I quite like that it's got the brownie undertones because I think it gives a lot more to the lipstick. So this is Absolutely Flawless, again as you can see it's a bit of a darker nude, it's really gorgeous. I think this is basically like the Kylie Jenner lip shade and I think it's gorgeous. I honestly wear this one to death. This is probably my favourite shade and it's my most worn I'd say of all of the lipsticks that I have from Makeup Revolution. I just think it's perfect, it's so neutral. Then we have You're a Star, another iconic pro, and this one is a slightly bit darker again. It's just a really nice colour, I think it's quite a warm brown, and it's got a slight shimmer to it, which is really, really nice. It's a lot more there than the other nudes, but again, it's kind of like a soft pink, so it's not too obvious, not too in your face. Really nice, gorgeous, subtle colour. Then we have Enchant, which is one of the classic lipsticks again. This comes in the old packaging, which is kind of like the new one, in the sense that it's still got the colour bit and the same coloured font etc. It's just I think the new ones are a little bit nicer, like I think these are quite simple and as well I find them to be a nightmare with the lids. The lids never stay on these ones. I can't put these in my handbag because the lids just don't stay on. Enchant is a really nice purpley pink, it's a gorgeous tone. This one's kind of like my go-to when it gets to autumn time and we're transitioning into the cooler months and you just want something a bit darker that will zhuzh up your look a little bit and make you feel gorgeous. So this is what Enchant looks like on. As you can see, it's a very pinky purple shade. It's got a really nice shimmer to it, and it's just a gorgeous tone for everyday wear, and obviously if you want to wear it on a night out, it's stand out enough for that. But I really like the way it complements my skin tone. The next shade is It Eats You Up. That is literally a name of a lipstick. I love that, It Eats You Up. And this is quite a dark pink shade. This is kind of like Show Orchid, which I've got from MAC. And it's a really nice deep purpley pink. It's like a really strong fuchsia, and I really like this one. I think this is perfect for like a go-to lipstick on a night out, or if you're wearing like a really neutral outfit, this just brings the perfect pop of colour. And I just, this shade is to die for. So this is It Eats You Up on my lips. Again, gorgeous shade. I think the purpley tones are really beautiful. It's definitely a vibrant pink. It's one that I would rock all the time if I could and it was totally acceptable. I'm really glad that I can actually wear this kind of shade to work now and I'm just in love. Like, it's beautiful. I think the pigmentation is amazing. It's really, really um, in competition with Show Orchid, which is one of my favourite shades ever. And I quite like that it's got the light 
it's kind of like a light coverage but it's really well pigmented which means it's not too cakey on your lips and it's not going to go really horrible after a while next up we have it eats you up in the matte shade which again same vibrant color but obviously a matte shade exactly the same literally just matte so i'll show you what this looks like on i find that the matte shade is a lot more pigmented and it's a lot more um it's harder to put on but it is a lot better pigmented and it's not as like there if that makes sense. I find that with the matte shades they're a lot easier to bear because I find that when I know I've got lipstick on I often rub my lips a lot but when it's matte I kind of forget it's there so I just sort of leave it, don't really touch it which is a good thing because I totally get my lipstick everywhere like I'm one of the worst person for wearing lipstick. This is obviously what it looks like and it's beautiful. I honestly think this is going to be my go-to shade all summer. Next up is We Were Lovers which is a very very vibrant pink. A bit darker than before. It's a lot more of a ready pink. I think this one is just stunning it's got a nice shimmer to it again it's not a matte shade it's a really glossy one and it just looks really beautiful so i'll show you what it looks like on i feel like this is the kind of pink that you could wear if you want to wear a red lip you're not quite brave enough to actually go full on bold red it's just beautiful i think that the pigmentation is amazing on this one and it's a really like i don't really know how to explain the color it's just quite a deep pink and it's perfect i just honestly think it's amazing i think it complements green eyes really well as well Next up we have Somewhere Out There which is a really vibrant orange shade. This is quite a ready orange so it's a really beautiful shade. It's not too vibrant orange like Satsuma orange, it's just quite a subtle ready orange, that doesn't really make sense. But I just think the colour is beautiful, it's a really really deep shade and it just, I'll show you. I think you can see what I mean better now it's on my lips but it's quite a red orange so I think this is a really lovely shade. I've never really seen anything in this colour before so I definitely think it's going to be a good addition to my lipstick collection and I can't wait to start rocking it more. Next we have Make It In The City which again is a really bright fuchsia pink. This is a lot more of a purple tone than We Are Lovers but it's a beautiful shade nonetheless. I'm going to keep it simple with the descriptions of the lipsticks now because I feel like it's better to show you them on and I don't really want this video to be like 400 minutes long. So this one's a little bit less vibrant on application but it's still got that really nice purpley undertone. It applies a little bit less pigmented than We Are Lovers but I really like the shade. I think the payoff is great, I think the colour's beautiful and I think it's got quite a nice like shimmer to it which is a really beautiful addition to a lipstick. I think it adds so much more to the definition of your makeup. My lips are getting so sore, like the colour of them now compared to the start of the video is ridiculous. Then we have Not In Love which is a nice corally pink. I think this one's beautiful. It's a really nice deep coral as well so it's kind of got like that beautiful shade to it and it's quite a matte without being matte lipstick, like there's no real gloss to this one which is beautiful. I think it's so vibrant and I think it's got that beautiful like red undertone but it's still quite a vivid pink and I think it's quite nice that it's not too like Barbie pink and in your face it's quite a subtle glamorous sophisticated pink which is beautiful again there isn't really a shimmer to it but I quite like that about this lipstick this is how much lipstick I've put on and taken off guys this is dedication right. so the next shade is an atomic one which is called make me magnificent which I always read as maleficent because you know that's just what you do when you watch too much Disney this is a really nice shimmery glittery purple which is quite a light shade it's not too dark but it's a really vivid purple like this is literally lilac this isn't really a shade that I wear too often I kind of got this one and thought of it more in a Halloween sense because this is the kind of shade that I was going to wear for Halloween because it's a really glittery purple, it's really light, it's really glittery, it's not too heavy, not too well pigmented. The next shade is Liberty which is a matte shade and this is a more deep purple. I really really like this one, I think this would be gorgeous for an everyday wear, again in like the autumn transitional period to winter, I think it would just be perfect. It's a really cool shade and I just think purple lipsticks are to die for all the time. So this is what Liberty Matte looks like on. I don't really find this to be too much of a matte shade, I think it's quite a glossy shade but I really like the fact that it's so vibrantly purple and it's got the pinky undertones which make it beautiful and warm and I just love anything that's pink undertoned or pink. The next is Liberty which is the gloss unmatte version of Liberty Matte. This one's a lot more purple and I think it's got quite a like deep black undertone so it's kind of like a deeper version of the previous. It's not as vibrant as the matte shade but I do think it's still got the gorgeous purple undertones. This one's a lot more subtle though I find rather than being too like in your face purple. Then we have another atomic shade which is the shade Make It Right which has been well used as you can see everything's rubbed off of it and this is absolutely ruined. This is slightly battered from being in my makeup bag and my like handbag for so long but this is a more vibrant purple like, I think this is a really true purple it's a really nice like cabaret shade and it's just gorgeous I'll show you what this one looks like as you can see it's a very vampy shade 
it kind of doesn't give the best payout to your lips but it is really well pigmented and I really really like the shade so I think if you gave the, your lips the right TLC it probably would look better because I've been taking lipstick on and off so much this entire video obviously my lips are not in the best condition to be putting lipstick on but I really like the shade of this one I again as I said I have used it to death the atomic lipsticks are very vibrant like I warn you now if you buy one they are really well like in your face bright so this is what it looks like so the next shade is Propaganda Matte. This is just a really nice like brownie red shade. It's quite a deep colour. I really like the matte. This is like a true, true matte as well. Like it's really dark. Really loving this. I think it's beautiful. I think the colour is stunning. I think the fact that it's like a brownie red really makes all the difference. And the fact it's matte makes it just look so much more classic. Then we have Propaganda in the gloss regular shade, which is exactly the same shade. But I think this is kind of slightly more red. This is more of like a 1920s style red. It makes a difference because they're kind of more like two different shades rather than just being like two of the same, which means that I've actually kind of added two different shades to my collection. The next shade is Jewel, which is a matte shade, and this is kind of more of like a brownie red still. I quite like the fact that there's not like a vibrant red in the collection that I have anyway. Um, but this is quite a deep brownie red. So this is what it looks like on. It's a lot more red than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more of like a brownie red judging from what it looks like on the stick but I actually really like it I think it's a beautiful color okay then we have jewel in the regular form which again is kind of like a similar shade it looks a lot more true to color this is a lot more of like a vibrant bold red red like it's kind of like ruby woo red I really like that though I think it's a beautiful color and I think that this is probably going to be my go-to red from now on the next shade we have is no perfection yet which I really like the name of and this is a really deep purple with a pinky undertone it's a really warm shade i think it's beautiful i think the color is just beautiful i'm really really happy with it i think that the shine is great okay we are on the last four shades this excites me i have been sat here for 20 something lipsticks now like i really just want to get to the end and give you all the information about the giveaway and that's just really exciting so the next shade is looking ahead which is a really nice deep nude brown. I decided to put browns at the end of the video because I think they fade really well into like the darker shades. This is a really nice deep nude. I think this is quite a Kylie shade. You know, Kylie Jenner is always related to nude lipsticks now, but I think this is a very Kylie shade. So this is what it looks like on. I have to admit personally, I didn't think I'd like it at first, but I do really like it. And I think it's really complimentary of a more olive skin tone, which is what I have. The next shade is another Atomic, which is the shade Make Me Tonight, and this is like a dark browny purple. I'm a huge fan of dark brown and dark like purple and stuff lipsticks, so I don't really know if other people will find this as appealing as me, but I really, really like the colour of this one. The fact that it's quite a brown purple makes it beautiful. The next shade is Blindfolded. It's just a seriously deep purple, like it's almost black and it's beautiful. It's quite like a warm purple, like quite a warm vampire colour. And I think it just makes me look more human, shall we say. And the final shade before I tell you about my giveaway is Atomic Serpent, which is a really vibrant green. Yes, green. I'm personally not the biggest fan. I think I kind of got this and didn't really think it through. I thought maybe I could be one of the people that's really cool and really pulls off like green lipsticks, but I'm totally not. So now for the giveaway, I hope you enjoyed my collection first and foremost. And for the giveaway, I am going to be giving away the entire Iconic Pro collection, which is 20 lip shades, all of which I've shown you in this video so you can see what you think. There is literally so many in here that I think you'd be mad not to enter, really. Look how many lipsticks. This is literally 20 lipsticks. So what you have to do to enter, all you have to do is give me a subscribe on YouTube and vote for me in the Beauty Bloggers Awards and send me a screenshot to let me know that you've actually subscribed because I don't want this to be an unfair competition. I'll be announcing the winner at the end of next week's weekly vlog, so keep your eyes peeled for that and I will let you know when it all goes live so that you can find out who has won because, you know, it's a really exciting time. All information about the giveaway will be down below, so don't worry if you haven't understood a word I've said because I don't even understand a word I've said. But give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to let me know if you want me to do more lipstick collections because I really like doing them. I love you guys. Bye.